So what are we talking about today? And it's not waterfront. How do we increase our home's value before we go ahead and put it on the market? Especially if we want to do so economically on a budget. How do we do that? So one of the first things I would recommend is going outside, taking a look at your house from the street and think about curb appeal. So put yourself in the shoes of a buyer. You're buying your own house. What would you like to see out there? What would draw your attention to the house? What would make your house pop? And so here's some ideas. So whether you've got grass or you've got stones because you're on the water, we want to make sure one, those stones are nice and even. Okay, we want to make sure there's no weeds going growing through the stones. Okay, if you got grass, same thing. We want to make sure the grass is cut, nice landscaping, right? And we also want to make sure that there are no weeds growing up through the grass, no overgrown grass either. Okay, then we want to start thinking about maybe some nice colorful flowers, right? Some shrubbery, something to dress up that front yard, a nice little mulch bed, right? That adds some contrast that'll make it pop. Okay. And so if you've got like a tan siding, right? A white siding, gray siding, a nice black mulch, go a nice long way, it gives it that pop, okay? And speaking of black and something economical, your, your shutters, right? Dress up those windows. Something you can do yourself, again, and cost-effective and makes that house pop, makes the siding pop, especially if you've got a gray, a tan, a white siding, that black shutter is going to just make everything pop, okay? Power wash, the siding, okay? If you've got some of that moss, some of that mold growing on your house, power wash the house, okay? That's the first impression as soon as you walk up, drive up to a house, right? It is going to be siding, the windows, the, the landscaping. So making sure all of that is dressed will go a long way as the first impression, okay? Think about when you see somebody, we analyze someone, have a first impression within seconds. So think about the impression your house is giving to a potential person walking through that front door. Speaking of front door, why not dress up the front door? Okay. And so now you've got a front door that's maybe a little dated. Let's swap it out for a nice updated door. Okay. Or at the very least, let's dress it up. Let's bring it back to life and let's repaint that door. Okay. Okay. And so giving it a nice pop, right? And we want to make sure the hardware is updated too, right? We don't want any of that older rusty hardware out there unless you're going for that more of that vintage look throughout the whole house, the distress look, then make sure you do it purposely, okay? However, we want to update the hardware and paint the door if we're not buying a new one. Speaking of other doors that are neglected, a plain vanilla white garage door Throw on a couple of magnets that make that garage door look like a farm door. And you'd be surprised how that pops too. All right, now let's enter the house. Okay, one of the things that you want to take notice too is a clean house, right? So if you've got chachis, clutter, personal items all around the house, just put it all away. Clutter, declutter, take the chachis out, okay? Depersonalize. So although your children... Your family, maybe even your grandchildren, are beautiful. Let the individual who's walking through your house, potential buyer, feel the house and envision it for themselves. Let them think about putting their own pictures on the walls, okay, with their family members. Okay, we want them to envision themselves in the house. Flooring. So if you've got hardwood floors that have been beaten up, dress them back up, bring them back to life. So refinish those hardwood floors, okay? Carpets. If the carpets are dated, meaning they've got they've they've seen better days, then you want to go ahead and bring those back to life. Either hire a Stanley Steamer, right? Get a carpet cleaner, or just go ahead and, and foot the bill for brand new carpets, okay? That'll go a long way. Okay, now you want to go ahead and take a look at your light fixtures, your lighting. So updating all your light bulbs. So you'll see a difference here. And so really, really interesting point. So now you see halogen light, right? This is kind of like a dated light. We want to go ahead and go to a more modern light. And so take a look how this looks. 
just look at it, notice the difference here, okay? And so now we've got the LED lights, okay? And so now, and that's just two of them, but look at the difference in the lighting. So we're in Junior's room right now. So the lighting is different. So that's going to now come out in your pictures, your professional photography. Hopefully, you're investing in professional photography or your realtor is. Okay, so we want to make sure the house shows in its best light. And that's literal as well. Okay, light fixtures. Light fixtures in the bathroom will go a long way. Okay, ceiling fans. Updating your ceiling fans are going to go a long way as well. Right? Making sure if you're not updating them that you are at least cleaning them too on top of that. So some pictures I see out there, they'll have those dust bunnies about an inch high, thick, and that's a big turnoff. All right. You spent the money on pictures and yet you are going to go ahead and have an inch of dust bunnies on there. No bueno. Okay. So another neat thing that you can do, sometimes you could flip the paneling in the blades because they have either a different color or just a refresh, can paint them, right? Just again, trying to trying to save on the budget, then those are some interesting or uh, more economical ways to do that. However, replacing them, a lot of times you can get these fans for under $100 and they look great. So replacing light fixtures, updating light fixtures, making sure those ceiling fans, those blades are clean, right? For the pictures, updating light bulbs, and then, Give, an eye, give a thought to repainting, okay? So a nice neutral, fresh coat of paint with a nice clean house with some nice lighting, updated fixtures, right? New carpets or clean carpets, refinished floors, clean your windows. You'd be surprised how much feedback I get on dirty windows, okay? So clean your windows. Nice blinds also would be nice. However, clean windows, if you're not going to have blinds on there, go a long way. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good weekend.